Hi guys. <clears throat> uh, update on the situation of the crypto markets and my investment plan. We, we did not hit my targets fully. Um, uh, and so I was not able to buy a lot. Um, uh, because um, upon further inspection, uh, we did actually go to not minus 50, but minus 52% undervaluation compared to the trend line uh, in uh, December of 2018 when we hit 3,150 uh, for Bitcoin Core and uh, about 100 billion total market cap, but uh, it ended up being about 98 billion actually, to be exact. If you deduct also Tether, which was about 2 billion, then today's 4 billion, 5 billion, the Tether. Meaning that in one year, Tether has um, received about 2-3 billion from investors uh, that invested directly in Tether and Tether was thereby able to issue more tokens onto the markets. Um, that's the story. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, some orders got filled, uh, but but uh, I was only able to raise my exposure from 30% um, to 35% uh, crypto, uh, around um, 6,700 uh, 6, uh, uh, BTC and about 170 billion total market cap. Um, or was it 180 billion? Uh, so 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 uh, my target is to go to about 55 percent um, uh, but only around six thousand uh, us dollars because it's only when we reach six thousand us dollars that's today of course in one two months it will be a little bit higher but um, as the trend line keeps up but for today to reach about five percent more undervaluation than we've seen you see these birds cool birds they have also this sound huh? But um, uh, to reach about 5% more undervaluation, we have to peak or bottom at about minus 52%, plus 5% is minus 57%. That's where I would like to, um, where I think it's likely to go. And today that means um, uh, very likely to go. And today, if that would happen today, it means about 6,000 uh, BTC. But of course, in one or two months, it's a little bit higher. But uh, that's where I set my buy orders now, so that's where I hope to buy Ethereum and especially Ethereum actually and a little bit of Bitcoin Cash um, to get to about 50-50 for me, uh, Bitcoin Cash versus Ethereum um, and, um, and, uh, and, and my total exposure will then go up from about 35% to about 55%. Uh, uh, but yeah, my orders didn't get filled yet, I hope they do. So that's uh, my crypto investment plan. I also changed something on the sheet. I uh, implemented um, shorting. So my strategy has always been uh, to just go long. I don't go short. Um, but actually it has really caused me to miss out on great opportunities. Um, because yeah, if you think crypto will correct a lot, I have always told that it's wise to go to a very small exposure, huh? but actually it's it, that's not really correct. What you should do is you should not have any exposure when you think so, it's a, there is a high chance to go down. You should not have any exposure and you should actually have a high short exposure. Huh? If you believe strongly uh, that something has a high chance to go down, you can make money off that by being short. Um, that means you borrow crypto or shares, you sell them and you promise uh, to c pay them back later, uh, that those cryptos or those shares. But in the meantime, the price goes cut by two or cut by four or cut by ten even. Uh, and, uh, and so it will cost you a lot less uh, to buy them back. And uh, the difference is your profit. So uh, I've never done this uh, because there are a, a couple of problems with shorting. Uh, first of all, um, um, it's very hard to estimate how high something goes and you usually are wrong uh, about it uh, because fiat uh, is, is really, um, uh, is really um, 
difficult, like it always goes up higher because fiat goes down in value. So inflation is really working against you. Uh, when you promise to buy an asset back in the future for someone, well, very likely that asset will cost more because in the meantime, the fiat value will go down. Fiat goes down in value and so it will cost you more to buy back that asset. So you're fighting fiat. Um, uh, uh, devaluation uh, uh, that works uh, uh, so that that's that's one thing um another thing is that you also when you short um you are you have counterparty risk because you are creating a contract huh? um and uh yeah it's um it usually costs money to short. Um, but I might be wrong there. I don't know that so well. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's worthwhile. I, I wouldn't dare to short, for example, Tesla. When I think Tesla is highly overvalued, it's time to sell it all. I wouldn't dare to short because it's so hard to estimate if it can go higher or not. Um, Usually, it is very hard to estimate that. But when it comes to crypto markets, uh, I find these cycle patterns very um, reliable and more and more predictable. Um, and, 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 and of course, uh, with crypto, usually it's really... The fundamentals are not so strong. When you see such a strong boom or bull market, um, when it has 100x, um, it's not that people are also using it broadly into in the market and, and that it could go much higher. No, like most of the value is really from speculation. Eh? People believe it will become big in the future, but as of today, it's not really there. And, and I, I suspect it will again be the case in the next bull market where valuations will go up a lot, but it won't be used widely uh, and so that that also in contrast to for example tesla yeah tesla can pump a 10x in two years time but tesla is also really being adopted broadly it's really like going up fast in revenues and in amount of cars it sells on a yearly basis um and 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 uh, uh, uh yeah but but that's not the case in crypto so so uh, uh, hey, all these factors make that, and just my specialization into the crypto market that's now, uh, um, I started in 2012. Uh, so I've, I've gone through like two big bubbles, um, the one of 2013, the one of 2017. Um, this will be my third bubble. Uh, and, and, and yeah, I, I become more confident that I can um, make money shorting. So I think um, a very good strategy is to long the boom and short the bust and where do you make that switch well i i make the switch at the safe margin so when when the, when we go into serious overvaluation at that point which is now about 350 percent for the next cycle if we get 350 percent overvaluation compared to the trend line that's about half of where we went last uh, bull market the last bull market we went to 700 percent overvaluation so if you cut that in half you can say like yeah it's very likely we will in the next cycle reach 350 percent overvaluation and it's likely we will peak out a little bit lower about 500 percent overvaluation because every cycle it's less as volatility goes down so 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 these are i think yeah uh, i likely things to occur and therefore um yeah let's staying long and staying fully invested till it's like 350 percent overvaluation and then selling it all and going short and then building my short position from about 350% overvaluation to likely about 500% overvaluation where we will peak out, and building my short position from, from say 25% to 50% uh, 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 portfolio allocation makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's my uh, strategy for the next uh, boom cycle. Uh, and then I will be able to make money on the way down too. Uh, I think that would be uh, super cool. 
I still have to study what the best instruments are, but uh, that's a change of uh, plans there, uh, or an, uh, a tweaking to the strategy. So somebody asked what's my exit strategy for cryptocurrency, the same as all my other investments. I sell when it's seriously overvalued. Huh? Um, and, 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 and that's very difficult, huh? um, but, um, uh, but because when it's seriously overvalued, you really, your mind changes and, and you really start to believe so much in it um, uh, and you think it will go higher, inevitably. Huh? Um, and so your greed has taken over. I have had this again in the previous uh, crypto uh, bull market. Um, uh, yeah, switching to a hodl strategy in the middle of the bull market, in the middle, middle of 2017, I started to buy cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin Cash at the time, and oh, buy it. I really uh, bought a big position there with the intention to huddle for life and that was a big mistake costed me a lot in missed opportunity because it then folded after that but i didn't sell any of it and I, uh, and it got good by uh, even more by 20 and and oh by by 40 or even 80 uh, thereafter so all profits gone and then uh, some extra losses so uh, uh painful uh by december a year later i really realized i had made a big mistake there uh, but um, uh, th that's where I really sat down and thought, like, what do I need to change to avoid this in the future? I really need to stick to my strengths. And for me, that's being an investor and not being an entrepreneur. Huh? Because I started to switch to a whole strategy in admiration of Roger Ver, who is an entrepreneur and who does a buy hold forever strategy uh, with Bitcoin at the time and now with Bitcoin Cash and that has worked very well for him um, uh, because he doesn't really care when he loses 90% of the fiat value of his coins because he really believes in cryptocurrency in the long term and he just wants to accumulate, accumulate and spend his cryptocurrency. Uh, 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 he, he approaches it differently, but it's, that's not my um, personality. For me, it hurts a lot to lose 90% of the fiat value of an investment. I do care about that, I realized. So, 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 so I focus on, um, uh, 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 I try to take the best of, for example, Roger Ver, his strategy, uh, and that is to huddle indeed during a bull market. I think many investors will make that mistake again. Uh, they've did, they did huddling in 2017 and then got a lot of pain in the bear market thereafter, learning the lesson that yes, you do need to sell during a bull market or during a bubble and lock in profits. But that they will probably start doing too soon in the next cycle, which I made as a mistake um uh, 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 a lot uh, selling too soon so so i think it's a big challenge to buy something when it's seriously overvalued that means today uh, for crypto uh, uh, it is seriously undervalued so to buy uh, at current prices and then to hold the whole bull market which is likely another three years and not sell anything is very difficult. Uh, let's say Bitcoin Cash or Ethereum is $200, let's say it goes up to $1,000. It's very tempting to sell, but you're not even close to the all-time high yet for Bitcoin Cash and, and Ethereum also hasn't breached the all-time high yet. Um, uh, but actually it will likely go 10 times higher um, than the all-time high of previous cycle. It will likely go to 5,000 or or, or 10,000. Eh? So selling at 1,000 is, is a big mistake, uh, but it's very tempting. Eh? Um, uh, and mo me most investors will do that and invest today, even uh, even before uh, sell big, big, uh, big uh, parts. So the, 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 the best strategy is really to learn to hold uh, during the whole bull market, but then also learn to sell and sell strong, extremely strong when you reach that serious overvaluation. And, and and and, uh, and 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 go short like that's the next stage that I will try to do in this next uh, bull market at the top or close to the top to try to not only sell it all but even go short uh, it's uh, something I never did and I hope uh, I get a chance to do that thanks all for watching and I wish you all a great day